sensory experience of manipulating material is something that we're horribly deprived of. We don't really too much these days have a direct relationship with the primal elements. The one specifically I'm thinking of now is fire. People would come to pizza night and they'd try to get that fire pit going and I'd be like, don't touch it. Just don't touch it. <laughs> I was like, it's not your fire. And every time they touched it, the fire would go down. And I just, you know, but I understood what it needed. I feel like I'm entering into a relationship with something that's as alive as I am, you know? And it has a language like I do. It's a different language. And being but... able to control the fire. Not really control it, but understand it. Mm. Which was the draw to me. That and I feel the rightness of life when I'm engaged in something as primal as a direct relationship with fire, right? It makes all the other things that are incomprehensible about modern life, for me, incomprehensible. It makes them go away for a while. It's like because it's not easy, um, but who wants easy? I'm not asking for easy. I'm asking for something more complex, and now it's built into me, you know, like the relationship of how hot it is. Something about the, like the first smoke that comes off a of fire that is just, you know, it's pretty, that's pretty instinctual. Yeah, just there's go. a moment when you're heating it, when um, it goes from smoke drifting out to suddenly this cloud of black smoke pouring out of it. There's something that's irresistible about when you see that oven fired up. It doesn't matter if you're eight years old or 80 years old. It's, it's, it's really magic. That, was, and then that we, was sort of the first sign that we were getting to the temperature we needed. And then the next is you take flour and you toss it in and you count how long it takes for it to uh, uh, turn brown or burn. Uh, sparks when you throw it in, it's too hot. You have to let the oven die down. If it takes 10 seconds to turn brown, then it's not hot enough and you might have to toss more wood in. You know, so when there are coals going, going in there and dusk is settling it's just it's a it's a really beautiful sight because there is a glow coming out of the oven there's food coming out and then people you know are all standing around there's a kind of happy hum to conversation i, I think people are drawn by fire very deep down on a genetic level is that like the com combined smell of smoke and food is like just really primal and um people gather around that and are attracted to that uh, beyond their conscious thought just like it is a, uh, a magnetic thing they were coming here they were gathering because this is a communal place it's nobody's and everybody's it really does attract every kind every kind of person they've brought it into their story it's part of this island because of what it is given. Teenage cohort though is so exciting for me that I, that like lots of teens come I just because it's like a pretty fun social scene. And people started to share poetry, music, alcohol, <laughs> I don't know, you know, and you know, stories upon stories. There was a sense of everybody taking part in this gathering and I think that that sense is the is the sort of most important thing in a way the oven is an excuse to get together it's a great excuse but it's um, but it's the togetherness and the contributing to together to the togetherness that um, I suspect is what actually you know brings happiness to people these are you know 15 years worth of stories and connections and people feeling like it's their home. Mm -hmm. And it's just pretty amazing to listen to people who are strangers to each other, the kind of breaking down of the traditional groupings mm -hmm. that, that form around identity are largely forgotten in this space. As the pizza moves, people move to accommodate it. Um, or move toward it or away from it, depending on what stage you're in. This, so, the core of this oven moves freely with the heat expansion. Just have to get out of your head and let the fine motor knowledge that your hands possess and your skeleton possesses. And, you know, it's a beautiful dance, too, because you can burn them like that.
Black Brook was the place where there are many springs coming into the water because this was a gathering spot for our ancestors. I can communicate because they're listening from here. That brings me some guidance mm -hmm. as to what to do on any day. Mm -hmm. There's something very different about just being in the outdoors and experiencing your humanity. I need to stand out here and see how beautiful everything is every day and not accept the negatives of the world and feel safe and give that to people. These events are not short, you know, it can go on for hours. And so the, the light changes, the air changes, the winds change. Design is here, it's in the land. And this is what is the most valuable, precious, commodity that we have and this is what sings and tells the stories and this is what brings you know the community in and and how do we support each other we can't do it if we close our doors and windows we don't have to have these like totally hard lines about what is indoor and what is outdoor I think the stuff in the air that's in there, it's little bits of wood and ash and other things that get into the, um, that get into the dough as it's baking. I think you get a taste of something more elemental. For me, it's, it, it goes deeper than the material world to have that kind of a experience of cooking in the wood burning oven. Sort of, it's not the raw material so much as the alchemy that the oven itself um, creates, which is transforming flour and water and yeast and salt. It's, there's no preordained result. You know, you put something in the oven, it's an act of faith. Moved forward on these weird, whimsical, funky ideas of someone that is actually trying to listen to my ancestors. I don't know, maybe knowing is something that's a little too cerebral, and maybe when I really feel like I'm in sync with the fire, then it's not a cerebral connection. I, if you asked me to define it, I couldn't do that, but... <laughs> I'll call it spiritual, right? At the risk of people going, oh, grown. <laughs> I don't know what it is. That's the point. If it's not cerebral, how am I supposed to tell you what well, it is? Right, we can't use words. It's, it's not just the food or the oven or the, the technique that goes into making the oven do what you want to um, or uh, the gathering of people um, uh, or, the, you know, the, um, or the weather. I mean, it's everything. It's all of that coming together. Um, and so each time you do it, it's a little bit different because, because everything that goes into it is a little bit different. I don't want to make it sound like I know things. I, at best, what I can do is befriend the fire. <laughs> <laughs>